Uh, Who's the lead? Um, I'll start off okay. uh, just from the scrimmage, just some takeaways from your receiver group in particular. Uh, I think we competed pretty hard. I think the biggest thing we're trying to get better at is just consistency of performance. I think the guys really worked hard. I thought we were physical in the run game and we made some plays in the pass game. So just trying to build off of that for the first scrimmage. I know we've talked plenty about Isaiah, but can you go into more detail about maybe what you saw from him in the scrimmage and just the development you've seen from him in this, this training camp? He's getting more comfortable. You know, I think day in and day out, he's just getting more comfortable. Him and BP, I think, are creating more of a connection and chemistry. So it's been fun to watch that, that develop over time. So. I think every day he gets better. You know, he's being more physical at the point of attack in the, in the blocking game, and he's doing a better job protecting the ball in the pass game. So we're really excited about his development. How important is Brian Hightower to the success of your group this year? I think they're all important. You know, we don't try to put one person above the other. I think Brian has a role on the team, and just like everybody, we're trying to do our job, and, and Brian's done a nice job of coming in and competing and, and trying to make plays for us. But it's not, you know, Brian's the more important than Isaiah or or Carlos Sandy, I think as a unit, we can be really good. I was like, and that's the biggest thing that Coach B and we've been pre preaching as an offense, it's a team game. You know, the stats are the stats, but the more we play better as a cohesive unit, the better we're going to be. Where's Casey with the offense mentally right now? I Casey's know. done a nice job. You know, some of those guys come in at different levels because of the spring, sure. but he's done a good job. You know, he comes in in the morning and we meet to go over the script and he texts me at night. So he's really trying to do a, a good job of closing the gap in terms of the guys that were here or, um, from the 15 practices in the spring. Sure. You know, I know these guys are all, they're all newcomers to you, but the, there's a couple of newcomers, uh, Jafar and um, uh, Pat Bryant, the freshman. Mm -hmm. What do they bring to the field for you so far? You know, Jafar's been really good in the meeting room and on the field. You can feel his physicalness and, and his vertical speed. You know, Pat Bryant, you know, for a, for a freshman, you know, he the game is not too big for him. When he's out there, he looks comfortable. He's still learning. And then Peyton Bynum's done an, also, he's done a nice job of catching on. So I think everyone, like I said, comes in at different levels. But the biggest thing I've been um, most pleased with is the way they've come in and they competed and worked day in and day out. I know you, you're not going to tell us, but do you, do you got an idea on what the rotation is going to look, look like uh, on the August 28th yet? No, I probably won't know until August 28th. But, and that's the beauty of it. You know, we want the guys to compete all the way until the kickoff, and then we'll figure out you know, who gets out there and when they get out there. But right now, we're just focusing on every day being our, the best version of ourselves and just trying to compete. Coach B's spoken a lot about consistency. That's something that I feel like Donnie Navarro's brought to the receiver in the last couple of years. Where have you really seen and impressed by Donnie in the last week or two? I mean, Donnie's done a great job. You know, I think he's Mr. Consistency in terms of his routine. And that's the one thing Coach Peterson talks about is just build a routine and live a routine. And Donnie's success comes from his routine. You know, he's a high effort guy. He's very knowledgeable. He works on his route technique. And, and I think his leadership has gotten a lot better. So I think him being that type of player has actually elevated our room because he sits at the at the table at the right at the same time. He stretches at the same time. So younger guys and guys around him can kind of build off of his routine. We had a